Hello there, and welcome to the Noesis Interactive 3D Content Creation with XSI. The focus of this disk is going to be to get to know some specific tools in XSI that will let us begin modeling objects and characters that can later be included in some of your favorite games. XSI is a very extensive software package that contains many sophisticated tools for a wide range of 3D development. In the following lessons, we're going to narrow our scope and focus on learning some fundamental techniques for modeling, texturing, and preparing custom objects and characters for video games. This DVD contains a 30-day evaluation version of XSI. So before we get into the lessons, let's explore the contents of the Noesis disk and install the software. So you're going to navigate to the Noesis DVD, open up the installers folder, and in XSI 5 Foundation, we're going to double-click the setup file. Okay, we want to install everything with the default settings, so just click Next. Now read through the license agreement, and you can hit Accept when you're done. Then note the install path here, and hit Next. And then select Typical Install. Next. So while this disk is really going to be covering the basics of XSI, it is worth noting just how advanced the XSI software really is. It's been one of the leaders in character design tools for some time and has become a favorite for a lot of video game creation. Personally, uh, I also believe it contains just one of the most intuitive and user-friendly interfaces out there, so it should be a perfect place for you to start. Hit OK. The software is starting up and you have the options here to purchase online, request or enter your key, or to continue the evaluation for up to 30 days. So let's hit continue evaluation. And the first time XSI opens completely, you'll have the choice of choosing your keyboard layout, which just adjusts many of the shortcut keys for all the different functions. If you're an experienced user of another 3D program, you may prefer to use the QWERTY key layout, uh, since it's similar to a lot of other popular 3D programs out there. Uh, although most users, especially those new to 3D, we want to select the first recommended option. So that's what we'll do. Alright, once everything opens the first time, you'll see the XSI Net Viewer. This is basically just a browser, similar to Internet Explorer, that allows you to browse through your local network, uh, as well as the internet, from within XSI. Uh, it's pretty useful, and we'll cover it more when we get to talking about texturing. If you'd like, you can browse through some of the various tabs and check out some of the links on XSI's page. In order for you to more easily follow along some of the lessons, we provided a database of certain project materials on the disk. So minimize XSI. And let's go back again and explore the contents of the DVD. Now you can copy and paste or simply drag the databases folder from your DVD to the local C drive on your computer. It may take a few seconds to copy everything. Now if you explore the database, you see inside a folder labeled Reference. Inside is a PDF file which lists all the various keyboard shortcuts for XSI. It may help you to leave this open or even print it out and keep it nearby as you make your way through the lessons. Now this PDF is reflecting the recommended keyboard layout for XSI which we just chose above. Alright, once back in XSI click the file menu and select keyboard mapping. Now this is where you can view or adjust the keyboard shortcuts or even change the keyboard model that we have active.
Now in order to link the XSI database that you just copied to your C drive, click File, Open, and navigate to the databases folder you copied. We're going to open DB101, Scenes, and select XSI. Now when the program asks if you would like to add the project to your list, say yes. And now, next time you open a project, the DB101 database will be your default root directory. For example, if you go to samples, you'll see different scenes that come preloaded with the software. Or you can return to database 101, and under scenes, you'll notice different folders for Nuisa's sections and for their chapters. You can switch between icon, list, or detailed views, much like the Windows operating system. This particular software version has a 30-day evaluation limit. After that time, you'll have a few options. At softimage.com, you can purchase any of several different versions of XSI. The 30-day trial we're using is XSI 5 Foundation. If you're interested in buying, you can choose between the Foundation, Essentials, and Advanced, the most feature-rich version of the program. XSI also offers a completely free mod tool version of their software. This version is aimed directly at game monitors and developers, uh, and it's based on the previous version 4.2. Uh, it has a limited tool set, but it's tailored specifically to the games. So other than some minor differences to the user interface and the removal of a few convenient tools, the XSI mod tool does everything you'll need to mod some of your favorite games. Also, if you're currently a student, XSI offers some really good deals and price cuts for their different software packages. So be sure to check out softimage.com if you're interested in any of their current packages uh, and their pricing options. In the following lessons, we're going to familiarize ourselves with the XSI interface. We're going to learn the basics of the modeling and texturing tools, uh, as well as some advanced methods for working more efficiently. So we will begin with the basic primitive shapes, practicing moving and posing some figures, constructing a custom object, a laptop, uh, that can later be imported into some various games. And ultimately, we're going to create our own character model. As you navigate through the Noesis interface, you'll notice two options that default on. The first are the lesson tips that will appear throughout the lessons to give you some additional information or remind you of any useful shortcuts. The tips can be turned off at any time by pressing the button labeled Tips on the bottom right of your navigation panel. If you'd like to minimize the navigation panel and expand the size of the video window, you can turn off the pin button just to the left of the tips button. You can then move your mouse to the bottom of the Noesis interface to temporarily bring the panel back up and you can click the pin button again if you'd like it to stay up. If you have any questions or would like to share any of the experiences or work that you've done with Noesis, go to noesisinteractive.com, check out any of the user forums or the support sections, share with your friends. Okay, so now if you're ready, let's get going. Return to XSI, select File, New Scene, and we're off.